Hey everyone, it's Andrew. I'm back after, what, a month I'm gone? And it's pre-release day of Theros Beyond Death. And what better way to uh, do our comeback with two boxes of Theros Beyond Death. We'll be opening these two boxes today. And I have a few more boxes coming in. So let's get right going on it. Um, so, where have I been? Well, life got in the way, and um, you know, life get life takes precedence over magic. Although life, although magic is life, some would argue, but um, well, I've been busy with a lot of stuff. So work, obviously, and um, something life changing is about to happen to me soon. So I really did not have enough time to um, to do a lot of videos. And as a matter of fact, I haven't really reviewed what Theros Beyond Death has. Uh, so, ooh, first Mythic. Mythic right off the gate. Um, I don't even know the values. I don't know what's good. I don't know what... Um, you know, I'm not playing the pre-release. That is that is really different for me in this time of magic because I always play in the pre-release this time around. I'm not going to play. Um, like I said, I'm very busy, but I do have a few more boxes coming in and I'll share the videos of that with you, definitely. So, I don't know the cards and definitely do not know the value of these things. Uh, first, Scry, uh, Scryland. So, how's everyone doing? I hope um, my long absence did not... Um, yeah, did not make you think that I'm gone for good. That's simply not true. But it is kind of a we break camp. It's kind of a I kind of miss this, to be honest. But um, really not a lot of time to check what's going on. Haven't played any tournaments lately. We haven't had, haven't gotten a foil yet. But those next lands are so. So pretty. Uh, as I was saying, I've um, I haven't really been checking, but I have been tracking these uh, these boxes. You know, if we're going to have a delay. As you know, we're in the Philippines and just had a, a volcanic eruption. I was talking about the foil. Now you've gotten one, um, and a, a volcano just uh, about sixty miles south of where I live erupted. Uh, over the weekend, and that has caused some problems here in the metro. Would have caused some delay. I would have thought it would cause also some delays in delivery of these boxes, but it didn't. So we're happy that uh, that didn't happen. So second mythic, Gloth Glothis, God of Destiny. All right. So I'm sure if you see this sometime in the future, it'd be uh, probably be shouting on your screen saying that that's valuable you didn't know it's valuable of course I don't at this point so uh, as I was saying um, Storm's Wrath as I was saying I thought there would be some delays uh, I do know that uh, Wizards made that announcement on the buy a box promos that they're supposed to come with a foil next land and some ha something happened during the packaging and all that but Artist, Oracle of Half Truths. Ah, that's our first uh, showcase frame constellation frame. I don't know how they call it. Um, so that's the thing. I um, speaking of bio boxes, I was told earlier when I claimed my boxes that uh, there had some been delivery delays. I know they said that it's supposed to come with a foil and a and your bio box promo, but. What they had was a non foil land, so, and they would just send you the foil land. Um, oh, wait, that's a foil rare. Oh, wow, that's a foil rare. I'm sorry, I didn't know. Foil rare, either on obstruction and scry land number two. Um, so I was thinking I, I would be getting a, um, I would be getting a something out of this after, I would be getting a, um, a second foil basic land but apparently they did not deliver here in the philippines they did not 
herbosis intervention. They do not deliver those um, those uh, lands, the, the, the buy box here, and we will be able to claim them at a later date. So unfortunately, I don't have them with me. I can't show you what uh, what it looks like. I mean the pack and the land that comes with it. So that's a shame. Temple of Malice, third scry land. Well, it is what it is. Um, it's not a big deal. It's just that they should have they should have been more upfront with what's going to happen. I don't know if it's the same with other countries, but. That is the case here in in the Philippines, and it's so bad that you know we don't have it. I was hoping I could I could show you my buy a box. Well, we all know what's in it, but you know the foil lands or even the basic lands will come with it. Oh, that's our fourth scry line. We're not even halfway through the through the box. That's interesting. Again, I'm not complaining, it's just that it's... I'm wondering why they did it that way. And uh, if you're asking, I did a tutor. I know this is one of the more talked about cards recently. It's a tutor. I think all tutors are, are inherently uh, strong and you know, I'm sure a lot of people are interested to see that. So I had a tutor in this set. Well, as I was saying, the... Um, I'm not complaining about it too much. For but you know, I really think their choice of uh, of Theros for this you know, to go back to fate, a set that's wasn't really received that well. I know some folks like it, some folks do not, and yeah, it's very poor, polarizing. Uh, Great Breaker Lamia. I don't know, but this is also a set that has a collector booster. Pack, which to me does not seem to have a lot of incentives at this point so if you're asking me if I'm going to open one in my channel anytime soon the answer is no I did not order a, a, a collector booster a ligmatic incarnation I did not order a collector booster however I am going to get uh, some collector boosters that should have come along with this um, with these boxes uh, if you uh, I got the promo Thassa the dwelling they had this promo where you uh, this uh, package where you get a booster uh, collector booster pack with a box so I'm gonna get that next week so I'll be opening those uh, uh, those packs here in this channel too Thassa's Oracle wow okay so we have Thassa and Thassa uh, Thassa's Oracle Again, I have no idea if we're getting good pulls. I do know we have three mythics halfway through the box. That's about normal in one, um, one, one full and rare. Uh, Tamaric calls the dead. Mm, Doxus, that's a uh, regular. I'm seeing a lot of uh, a lot of uh, sagas in this uh, in this opening. I wonder if that's the case. Again, I'm not playing the pre-release, so I have no idea if, um, how these things would play together. Probably won't be playing any tournaments soon, too, because, um, like I said, life has gotten in the way, and in a very positive thing, a positive way, and I like what, what's going on, and, you know, so good that I uh, have really, feel the brew, and I really have... Um, Reduce my time in terms of um, of doing magic. Well, let's see. Let's see what happens. I just really hope that this uh, this set would age well, unlike its um, unlike its original predecessor, Theros Underworld Breach. Another uh, showcase frame. I'm looking for a Lotus. I hope I get one. Um, any load, anything with Lotus and Moax in it, usually great cards. Ah, that is a good card. That's Perforos Mythic Showcase Frame. That is a very great hit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I 
I'm speechless. I could have, well, if that, that was a foil, it would be even better, but I'll take that. Icon of Sun's Grace and Archon of Falling Stars. Wow. Two Archons in one pack. Would be nice in a sealed deck. And no, I'm sorry, I'm using the scissors because I'm going to reuse these booster packs when I um, unload some of these cards. Um, Hell Yod's Intervention. But in the second one, I this is a this is a Japanese printed uh, uh, box. So the the um, does feel slicker. It has a more snappier feel to it, like unlike the U.S. printed ones, which kind of um kind of looks faded and dull. There's it's a little rough when you to the touch. Texture's not really that good. So I prefer these Japanese packs. Okay, got a foil uh, showcase frame. Uh, the Lacos. And I don't know I'm probably butchering the pronunciation of the names too. We only have one foil there so far, and usually you get two with the. Ah, nice. Foil uh, Next Land. And we have Arasta of the Endless Web. Uh, you're supposed to get two foil bears, maybe three, since they increased the pull weight of the foils, but I don't have one in this one, so I hope we get some more. Ah, speaking of, Ephemia, the Cacophony, and Treacherous Blessing. And let's get something good in the close by good I mean something interesting because again I do not know the price I think we got all scry lands that's number five I think we got all of them Wow really really interesting opening here it's bronze hide lion it's, you know these showcase frames look really really nice uh, I, I like the idea that they've begun making these showcase frames beginning with the drain um, and continuing that here in Theros. So you know if that's a you know how, how valuable that will be in the future but some of the showcase frames in in the drain did go up in value by quite a bit so I hope they be the same here. Of course, they're still in standard, they're still in print, so it's not really gonna be, uh, those prices will not really be that high. Wow, that pack, pack is so mangled. Uh, last pack, Foil, Uncommon, and Thassa's Intervention. We have uh, the three Thassa cards, including Thassa herself, so. That's interesting. All right, let me just get these out of the way. Yeah, we are again opening two boxes today. Um, first time we're doing two a two box opening. Uh, you know what's better than opening a box than opening? Well, op better than opening a box is opening two boxes, and that's what we're doing. Uh, Hope you don't mind me just keeping it in the box, Lona. Box number two. Here we go. Forest and off the gate and foil. And off the gate again. Another mythic. Well, we just got three myth four mythics in the first box. Croxa. So oh yeah, I'm gonna stop using the um the scissors. So you could go fa a little faster. Uh, Femi again, non-foil this time. Yep, first, first time we're doing two boxes in a video, so I'm sorry. Well, I did, um, I did a um, two box opening, but that was a, a regular booster and collector booster opening. But this is the first time we're doing two. 
uh, regular booster uh, opening. So Nyx Bloom Ancient. I don't know if that's a good mythic. Yeah, kind of hard to cast too. So I, I don't know. Underworld Dreams used to be, you know, the original printing is so hot. Now it's just an uncommon. And it's, we're going to see a lot of that flying around. Yeah, come on. Well, next Lotus. There you go. I was looking for this card. Uh, there you go. I have one. And I'm going to keep that for, for myself. So in the five booster uh, collector booster packs I'm going to get next week, I hope I get that. And uh, in foil, Shadow Spear. I know that's a good card. Uh, just to know if it's value good. We'll see. I think with pre-release prices that the cards tend to be a little on the high end and you know as the months go by. First foil rare, bronze hide lion, and that's Elspeth, our first planeswalker card. Hmm, would it nice would be nice if it was a full full art, but I'm not complaining. That's Elspeth. So that's a very powerful, very strong pack right there. Um like Elspeth, I, I'm not convinced with, with with this card now. I'm sure someone will figure out a way, figure out a way how to make that card strong. Just like Oko, we know we knew Oko was strong when he came out, but we didn't know he was going to be crazy. He was going to be crazy strong moving forward. So uh, it will be interesting. Galia. Yeah. Goat Island, Phoenix Ash, and nothing else. Come on, there's some more good cards. Allure the Unknown. And Mantle of the Wolf. We haven't gotten a um, showcase frame in this one. Not yet, at least. Oh, that sucks. Uh, there you go. I'm afraid to peel it open because I might damage the cards. I don't know if that's possible. Green Trawler. A lot of Zorius decks would want that, especially those that have a lot of flying in them. And. Reverend Hoplite and Nessian Boar. Storm Herald. Uh, Dryad, the Elysian Grove. I know a lot of people are looking for this because of it. Of its ramp ability. And of course, making all their lands becoming every basic land type. That's a huge deal. I think, you know, of all the cards in this set, I think this is the one that's going to be really, really valuable. Shadow the Sky, and, and speaking of showcase frames, that's our first one. Halfway through the box, and I don't know. Again, not knowing what these things cost or what the value of these things are, you know, it's kind of hard to be excited if you know, if you've got a you've got something really nice, really good. Of course, if you get um, if you pull a borderless mythic, that is going to be great. First, Skyland for this box. If the first one had all of them, this one has just one, exactly one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ah, as I was saying, guys, foil Elspeth, full art, <laughs> blown away, Just blown away with this one. Wow, what a beautiful card! Wow, 
Whew. I really have to call it. I can't even. Whew. That's why I have to be careful in opening these packs because I might damage it in the, in the process of opening it. What are the odds of getting that in a regular booster? Well, they, they, the wizards never said that, so we don't know. Uh, wow, wow, wow. Two Elspeths in one box. It's a champion. Can't even speak anymore, guys. That's um, That was an awesome, awesome hit. Have this again. Grey Merchant. <laughs> I don't know what its value is right now, but that being such a beautiful card, foil, borderless, come on guys. It's be really, really great. Fastest Oracle. That must be, you know. I hope it's not like Garok in the last set where it's not really that valuable, but I don't know. That is one beautiful card. You know, I think that's a welcome back for me for being away for so long. And that's why they gave me a good box. <laughs> ah, speaking of boxes, I know I told you earlier that I'm not going to open a... Um, a collector booster well it has something to do with the bad luck we've had with it the past two box openings of it we, of collector boosters we did in Ildrain. um the boxes are quite a drain in the wallet and oh wow whoa wow 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 <laughs> calyx you know it's not foil but it's full art plus foil next land I'll put you here. Wow. <laughs> yeah, that's really a welcome back to me. You lost money in the dream, here you go. <laughs> that's amazing. Two of them in one a single box. One in foil. Where are the odds? It's, you know, the, the next line I was going to ask you was, who was that third uh, planeswalker again, the new guy they, they made? And there, there you go. He suddenly shows up to remind me who he is. Ilya, how many? This is the fourth, fifth, including the foil uh, mythic in this box. Whoa. I'm still kind of shaking, guys. Uh, <laughs> ah. What a nice ending to this box opening. Amazing. I don't know what to say, guys. That's just really, really, really amazing. There's a second temple. Like I said, there's not a lot of temples in this box, and they were replaced by really great cards. First we're going games. And last two packs. Going war. And what else can you ask for guys? Third borderless. <laughs> I am very happy with this box. And whoa. Oh. I think he's the most expensive non variant frame mythic around. Uro, the Titans, Titan of Nature's Wrath. Wow. <laughs> what can I say, guys? It's a very good box opening. Thank you again for watching, and I'll see you again in the next video. I'll be making some more before the release date of, of Theros. See you around.